itself. Now the next uh, foam roller exercise is taking the foam roller and turning it 90 degrees. So you're gonna, this is gonna be across your mid back, across your T-spine. The T-spine needs to be super mobile and flexible in the golf swing to keep you swinging your best. So we're gonna try to help that uh, be its best by using the foam roller here like this. You're gonna sit on the ground. The foam roller is gonna be perpendicular, perpendicular to your back this time. And it's, you're gonna start with it between your shoulder blades. Now, what I'm gonna do is use my legs to drive myself up on the roller and then back down. And you can change the position of your head to emphasize different parts and different actions of your spine and the muscles. So I'm going to do a few with my head low and I'm going to do a few with my head high. And because I'm a right-handed golfer, I'm going to kind of get onto that right side and attack that right paraspinal muscle group because typically the right side of your back, if you're a right-handed golfer, is going to be much tighter. Now, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's going to be the left side that's going to be much tighter than the right. So for you lefties out there, focus on the left side a little bit more than the right, and that'll help.